Hello and welcome to my new video. Today I would like to talk about a command available in Sophie Plus, the graphical preprocessor of Sophistic based on AutoCAD. And the command is called Align Elements. Um, the command Align Elements actually allows you to align the local coordinate system of your different structural elements, the structural point, the structural line, and the structural area. Before uh, jumping into uh, the topic, I would like to give you a quick tip um, because uh, on default, Sophie Plus doesn't visualize all coordinate systems of all structural elements. So uh, the default of the structural area is that you actually get this um, local coordinate system over here. However, for structural lines or for structural points, you don't got this information. So how you can activate this actually now? Um, you need to go to the Sophistic Sophie Plus site bar in, and go down to Tools. It's the second last top. And within the section options, you will find the third command visualization. And this visualization settings, you got quite a bunch of possibilities to you user uh, define your visuals in Sophie Plus. However, for this command, it makes sense just to focus on the most important for us. It's actually the definition of the coordinate system of the structural elements. For instance, if you see here structural elements, we've got several options to select and the coordinate system is deselected by default. So simply ensure it, it activated for the next steps. The same for structural point, we activate the coordinate system as well. For structural areas, it's um, actually activated already. So I confirm this with OK. And when I scroll in now to my structural line, I see already my local coordinate system pointing in the line direction uh, in X and the Y direction perpendicular to it. OK, uh, now let's focus on the command itself and the align uh, elements command can be found in the structural element tabs in the sidebar and within the section find and alignment. Besides the align elements command you will also get this find elements command here uh, which is quite useful when you are looking for some elements which were pointed out during your export or in your calculation. So just keep this in mind we have this option here available as well. However, for now, we are focusing on the Align Elements. Uh, to start the workflow of the Align Elements command, you need, of course, first of all, click on the command. So I do that. And now the command starts with the first step. It asks you to select the objects. And I recommend if you have several options, objects available in your project, keep it simple and only select similar types of structural elements. For instance, only structural lines, structural areas, or only structural points. The reason therefore is uh, because if you select everything, um, you might get confused of the selection available afterwards for the alignment options. For instance, some specific commands only available for structural lines won't be available for you later on when you have selected the structural area and the same selection set. So just keep this in mind, select only the same type of structural elements when you start um, aligning them. So I would start, for instance, with this structural area over here. So I scroll in, you can see it better. So I click on structural area number two. There's of course the possibility to do multi-select by simply uh, selecting several options. So just keep it simple for one for now. So I select this and the next step is simply confirmed by using enter. And now you will get this context menu. It's not that easy to find. So to, to bring this more up on my canvas, I go with my mouse hover over here and click with the left mouse button again so you can see much better. Now further commands will be available now in this context menu, which we have straight in uh, on the screen and as well in the command line of AutoCAD on the bottom over here. So those informations here are completely similar as shown in the context menu. I prefer it, especially for this command used in the context menu because it's better organized and much easier to 
keep track of the available commands. So um, to go to the next step is you need to actually choose the alignment option what you are interested in for this structural area. And for instance, I would like to set the x direction so the local x direction of my structural area in a different direction but pointing uh, two points on my canvas so therefore i need to select the third option is x z what means set x direction so I click on this one and now i got the option to select a first point and the second point to define my rotation angle angle so I click here on the first, first point, I switch off the author mode to make it more visual and click on the second point and you see immediately the coordinate system of the structural area will rotate in the direction I've pointed uh, or it will actually rotate in the same angle I have generated by confirming these two points. So to end the command, um, you need to go to the end option here in the alignment options. So I click on this one and to see the command closes and it will keep as well the rotation of your structural area. Um, let's have a look um, how it looks like in the export now. So if I export the system, I keep everything on default except I select only one single object and I confirm with okay. And I will have look straight into Wingraph here we go. And we see the local X direction is shown for each element. So let's jump back to Sofa Plus. Very important here to, to mention is as well, just keep in mind when you're playing around with the local directions of structural elements, it might have an effect um, of loads you have applied already to the structural elements or of local support conditions and of course of the cross section too. So don't forget to double check the results when you did some major modifications on the local coordinate systems. So let's start with the first example um, to show you how the align elements command works. So we have here a slope area element uh, which kind of represents a bridge and uh, I would like to show you how the meshing, or oh, sorry, how the, the alignment of the local X direction looks like. Therefore, I export uh, this uh, system over here, or this structural area only, and I will have a look straight into Wingraph. And here we go. So you see all the local coordinates uh, of the quad elements, of the single quad elements pointing to the um, global X direction. So I will switch on the finite elements as well. So, okay, now we would like to align actually those uh, local X coordinates of all single quad elements perpendicular to this upper line or this edge of the bridge. Simply reason therefore is uh, because sooner or later you need to evaluate your design results and also find a way how you should uh, finally introduce the rebars uh, in your structure. So it's useful as well to already align the local coordinate systems in the proper way. So let's jump back to S uh, Sophie Plus and we jump to the align element command. I click on the command. The program asks me now to select the element. I confirm the structural area with enter. And if it also happens to you that the context menu is somewhere over there and you can't read everything, simply go with the mouse cursor somewhere you can better see it and use the left mouse click to move it over there. So now I need to pick the right uh, option to align my structural or to align my local direction uh, um, of the axis of the coordinate systems of my structural area. Therefore, I need to go through all the list. Um, I already know that I need to use the XAL, the alignment X direction to point line or area. So uh, I have already created a structural line underneath uh, the structural area exactly on the edge of the upper edge of the structural area. So I click on the first step on this option and the program asks me now to select the structural element. So keep in mind when you're going to align 
and to a line point or area, it need actually be a structural element. So I confirm the structural line and you get an additional option actually to enter. You can decide uh, if you want to uh, introduce as well a specific angle uh, of the rotation of the X direction. So in my case, I would like to have it uh, perpendicular to my edge. So I keep this on default with the value of zero. So I simply confirm with enter. And you see already uh, the coordinate system changed. So something happened here as well. So uh, I will close um, the command of the uh, element alignment with and. And now I go to export the structural area. And here is now important because you have reference to a second uh, structural element, uh, you need to export in addition to the structural area also the reference structural line. So don't forget this because if you don't do that, you won't see any effect later on in Wingraph. So I have selected both elements, confirm with enter and confirm with well the export by hitting the OK button. So let's have a look into WingGraph. I can open WingGraph as well from the sidebar. Click on the icon and here we go. We see the local X direction from my quad elements pointing perpendicular to my structural line. So it is quite a handy feature to quickly realign uh, your coordinate system in a structural area, which is maybe curved like the one we have here on our screen. Okay, let's have a look to uh, another option available for structural areas. Um, therefore, I jump back to uh, Sofa Plus and I like to show you this example over here uh, in a similar way. However, I would like now to realign the, co uh, the, co the local coordinate system of this shape over here from something I can show you right now. It's actually is the global X direction. So I open wing graph. So see here it points in the global X direction and I would like to change this uh, by aligning it to a structural point in the center of the circle to get a nice uh, alignment here as well. So uh, therefore, I need to go with the same step as I did as well for the structural line. I go to align elements, select my structural area, and I select again the XAL option over here. I select the structural point. I've already created one here in the center of the circle. And I keep the angle on zero as default, and I can end this command. And the interesting thing, thing here is there's no change at all in the coordinate system information of the structural area three here. So we can't see actually a change happening so far. So we need to export the structural area, including the structural point to see an effect on this alignment. I will do that. I go on export, select both the structural point and the structural area because the structural point is used for the alignment of the structural area. So it's important to consider it during the export. Confirm with OK and check in WingGraph. And here we go. All the local coordinate systems in the direction X pointing to the center here of this circle. So far so good for structural areas. We have of course some less fancier alignment options here because sometimes it's just needed to align it uh, by 90 degree or just inverse the direction. Therefore, we can have a look into this example over here. So you see that it's already aligned. So I would like to realign it maybe to the global X direction. So in horizontal direction, therefore I jump back to align elements, select my structural area number two here, and I use the X, Z, Z, X direction of my structural area. Click on this and now I'm free to choose any direction I would like to align. And I use this uh, by clicking the two points quite easily. So I click on end and I'm done with this example. Let's have a look to structural lines. Um, some options are available for structural lines as well. For instance, uh, when we have an example like this, we have two 
uh, sorry, three structure lines uh, shown up here, two of them, the first and the last one are pointing in the same direction. However, the one in the center or in the middle, the middle one pointing in the opposite direction. So to get proper results later on for all your forces and, um, and your design as well, it makes sense to align the center structure line in the same directions as the two others. To do so, I would use in that case the uh, invert uh, direction command and this can be found in the options as well for structure lines. So I simply select the second um, uh, structure line over here. I can select the D invert direction, click on this one and to see immediately direction is inverted and we have the same orientation as the two other um, structure lines. Um, there are some more, of course, you can uh, rotate the structure line along the X direction. So uh, quite handy features here as well. Um, there are also some options available for structural points. For instance, you can align along the X direction, Y direction and also along the Z direction. Aligning structural areas, for instance, uh, along the set direction uh, or to, uh, to change the orientation of the set direction is actually not possible because of the reason the local set direction needs to be always perpendicular to the structural areas itself. A similar thing is when it comes to the local X direction in the structure line, uh, it must always point along the line as itself. So this is uh, an advantage on structural point. You have a more uh, flexibility of the alignments here. Let's see how it works for a structural point. I go to align elements. I select my structural point and I select, for instance, um, rotate around Y axis and I define a direction and to see it has aligned along the y direction i can also do that uh, uh, rotate around the z uh, x direction for into something like this or i can um, set the x direction directly from here to there so you see quite handy features here um, for structural point as well or for instance quite nicely invert the y direction so quite quickly to invert the direction of the spring for instance so um, this so far for the structural point. Again, you will find a more detailed description of all available options in the blog post. Uh, you will find a link in the description of this video uh, below. To wrap things up, um, aligning the local coordinate system is uh, a very important aspect and should uh, uh, pay attention before investigating actually to the analysis and the design results. Because as I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, when you haven't aligned your structural areas, the local direction of the structural area, and you're going to investigate the reinforcement amount later on in your post-processing, um, you might get into trouble or you might get some weird results because they don't match uh, each other because uh, the alignment is not properly set. It's definitely a time saver uh, on your side to use this align element command. Um, yeah, this is what I wanted to share with you today. Um, I hope you like what you uh, saw in this video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel to get latest updates uh, from my uh, videos. Also check the website. You will find further information about some sophistic uh, features and workflows and also some latest news uh, what's happening uh, around uh, sophistic. So thank you very much for watching today. I hope I will see you one in one of my next videos and yeah, take care and have a good day.